QuickBooks, how to add sales tax. Hey everyone, this is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University, and we're gonna talk a little bit about sales taxes today and how to add sales tax in QuickBooks. Now, here's what you need to know first and foremost about sales tax. One, the rules are different in every single state. There's a lot of commonalities, but for the most part, they're different in every state. And some localities also have an additional sales tax. So for example, if you live in a certain city and it's got a 6% sales tax, you may also live in a municipality, uh, uh, you know, a little locality, a small town that says, okay, you know, this state has this sales tax and then the city also has an additional 1% sales tax. So you gotta make sure that you are charging the right amount to your customers for items that have sales tax. And that's another thing, you've got to research this wherever you live because uh, some things have sales tax and others don't. For example, where I am, prepared food uh, has uh, sales tax if you eat it on premises, but if you get it to go, it doesn't. Uh, groceries don't have sales tax. Some places have sales tax on services. So very, very important to make sure you understand Whatever you sell, product or service, if it has a sales tax that you charge the appropriate amount because it can cost you thousands of dollars in penalties and interest if you fail to do so. Now, one other thing before I get to this, and before I show you how to set this up, is most jurisdictions, actually I think almost every jurisdiction that has a sales tax, they say it doesn't matter if you charge it or not, you still owe it, okay? So if you inadvertently don't collect sales tax from your customer, you are still liable for that sales tax. And the other thing is if you do collect the sales tax, you are required to pay that over. If you don't, it's uh, they kind of look at that as like stealing. So you want to make sure that you are compliant with your sales tax. Okay. Enough about that. So let's talk about, we're in QuickBooks, you're here on the home screen, and the first thing you're gonna do, we're gonna go through and show you how to set this up. You're gonna go to list, go to, go to your item list. All right, so you can see here we have our item list, the item list, uh, you know, all the different types of things, services, whatever you bill for, inventory, non-inventory, et cetera. Now, in this sample company file, you're gonna see down at the bottom, there are sales tax items. This is what you need to set up. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna right click and I am going to click on new and I am going to choose sales tax item. All right, so we're gonna say this is a South Carolina sales tax where I am recording from. All right, so this is just a general statewide sales tax. Okay, we'll say sales tax, that's fine. Actually, I'm gonna put a SC in front of this so I can know the difference. And we're going to say this is 6%. All right, 6% and the sales, the tax agency. Let's go ahead and pick one. It's going to make me pick the tax agency that I want to put this to. So I am going to say SC Department of Revenue, which is who I will do this to. All right, so this is a new one. We're going to say quick add. And that's a vendor, so we're going to say OK. So now we have our SC sales tax set up. This is automatically going to sales tax payable because, which is a liability, because when you collect that sales tax from somebody, you have to pay that over to the government. And so it's a liability, meaning you owe that money to the government. You took it from somebody that bought from you, and now you have to pay it over to the government. OK, so now when you go to do an invoice, or even a sales receipt. Either one is gonna be the same. We're gonna say customers, and we're going to create an invoice right here. And let me just pick uh, a random customer, this guy, okay? And we're going to say that we did some repairs, and we'll say that repair work has uh, sales tax. So we'll say it was five hours at 35 hours. Now. Down here, it says here, right here, this is a non-taxable service. All right, we're gonna change this to taxable. And down here, since this is a South Carolina sales tax, we're gonna change that. Now, 
when you set up customers and you set up the item, so for example, this item repair work, you can have it default to non-taxable or taxable. And for the specific customer, you can specify what sales tax they are subject to. This is all in the customer setup and in the item setup. That way, whenever you pull up an invoice or create an invoice or a sales receipt for that customer, it will default to the item being taxable, so it's taxed, and the locality, so South Carolina sales tax, it will default to that 6%. So now that you've done this invoice, you see it adds it up to 185.50, and as soon as you collect this, uh, or actually as soon as we save and close this, it's gonna record that liability as a sales tax payable, and then you will have to pay it over to the government. All right, so those are the basics on uh, how to add sales tax in QuickBooks. Any comments, any questions, please feel free to leave those below and I will see you in the next video.